Hello friends, welcome. Have you seen such fractions like this? And a weird method of doing it, like cutting 6 and 6 in the numerator and denominator to get 1 over 4. And similar in this case also, cutting 6 and 6 to get 2 by 5, which is not a mathematical process to do, but the result is the same, we get the right result. So sometimes the wrong assumptions also give the interesting result. So I'm going to explain the intuition of Laplace transform by this intuition. Here I'm not going to talk to you about the graphical intuition which you can easily find in different videos in YouTube. One of them is from Eugene Kotoransky. He makes one of the best videos for physics and mathematics simulations and graphical understanding. So I'm not going to describe here the graphical intuition. I'm going to describe the arithmetic concept behind the Laplace transform. Here I'm not going to talk about the time and frequency related to this transform. I will use just a different approach and I'm not going to the definition hereby. Before starting, you need to have some knowledge of infinite series and calculus so that you will find this video much easier to understand. So I will start with these three basic equations of infinite series. The first one is the expansion of logarithm 1 minus x. The second one is simply the sum of geometric series having ratio x. And the third one is nothing but the expansion of e to the power of x where e is the Euler's number. So if you have a small child at your home who has got a general knowledge of mathematics and if you ask him how can this function be changed into this function he will use his own intuition to say that just cancel the denominator in the function to get this result and yes that's true by cutting all the denominators we can easily get this function similarly if you ask him to change this function into this function he will probably say to cut the denominators here also and the one is remaining so you can subtract one from it to get the same result so this is a simple approach of converting the logarithmic into geometric series and the exponential into geometric series but what actually is the mathematics behind it so let's form a mathematical operation from the basis of the child's intuition so at first we will convert the logarithm into the sum of geometric series so according to the child's intuition the denominator has to be removed but what actually is the process behind it let's see the power of x here say if the power this is 3 is taken down as the coefficient then this 3 and 3 will get cancelled similarly the power of x here is 4 if we bring this power as a coefficient as 4 then the 4 and 4 will cancel or as a generalization if x to the n is there so if you bring the power that is n in the coefficient in this series then the denominators will get cancelled so applying this transformation in each of these terms we will get this result since the power will come down as a coefficient in all those terms so you can easily see uh, the denominators and the numerators gets cancelled in each of these terms and we will reach to this result so the mathematics behind this child's intuition was to transform every terms of x to the n into n x to the n but can we simplify it further let's see n x to the n can also be written as n x to the n minus 1 times x but if you have a general knowledge of calculus then you must be aware of the function that the derivative of x to the n with respect to x is nothing but n x to the power n minus 1 so we can replace this function as the derivative of x to the n with respect to x so the meaning of this transform is just take the derivative of this function and multiply it with x so applying so taking the differential of this function with respect to x we can get this result and by simplification 
it will give this result so this transformation not only means the derivative of this function but also we need to multiply it with x so multiplying this result with x we will get this result so as a conclusion what we can see is the transformation from the logarithmic function to the geometric series sum is done by the differentiation or the operation that changes the logarithm function into the geometric series sum is differentiation now let's go to the another transformation that i have discussed earlier it is about the transformation of exponential function into the geometric series sum so in the previous conversion what we did was we converted x to the n into n x to the n to remove the denominator and also remember the child intuition was to cut all the denominator part so just think how can the denominator part be cancelled by using a simple transformation yes it's obvious to see that if you convert all the x to the n into n factorial times x to the n the denominator will get cancelled as these powers are converted into coefficient in the term of factorial so let's apply this transformation and get the result as this so all the numerator and the denominator parts will get cancelled and we will remain with this result here also we didn't get this result actually to get this result we need to multiply this result with x so instead of trying the conversion of this function we need to multiply this result with x so what we do is instead of taking this conversion we transform x to the n into n factorial times x to the power n plus 1 now applying this transformation what we can get is this result since x to the 0 will go to x to the 1 all the powers are added with 1 and the numerator and denominator powers are cancelled so we can get this result and similar to the transformation that we seen earlier the transformation from e to the x to this geometric series sum is done through some operation but what is that operation it's not the differentiation unlike the previous case so the operation is nothing but a Laplace transform the Laplace transform is indicated by L with a function inside it so the Laplace transform of e to the x is equal to the geometric series sum which is equal to x by 1 over x the Laplace transform is not in this actual form some modifications are done by the mathematicians but why these modifications are made just imagine if the variable x x squared x cube and x4 are written in the denominators then the numerator part will only consist of the coefficient of x so this will be easier for visualization hence we replace x with 1 over x in this equation hence we will get this result as this form and similarly in this case also we replace x with 1 over s to get this result and on further simplification we will get this result so finally the Laplace transform of e to the x will be equals to the geometric sum represented by this expression which is equal to 1 over s minus 1 from now onwards you can remember that to find the Laplace transform first you need to expand the function in terms of different powers of x and with this transformation you can easily get the Laplace transform of it at last you need to replace x with 1 over s so let's take an example of Laplace transform of sine a t so if you know about the Taylor series or Maclaurin series the sine of x can be expanded in this form so applying the Laplace transform for this using this transformation we will get this result since this n will go down as a factorial term and the power of x will increase with 1 so for this term the power of x that is 1 will be added as x squared and the 1 will come to the coefficient as 1 factorial so all these factorial terms will get cancelled and we will remain with this result 
checking a and x square as common we can get this result and since this is also a geometric sum we can change this in this form now to find the Laplace transform from this expression we need to replace x with 1 over s and by doing so we will get this result and finally a by s square plus a square will be our result so the Laplace transform of sine at equals to a over s square plus a square so let me summarize the things that we have learned today a logarithmic function is converted into the geometric series sum by the operation that is known as the derivatives or differentiation similarly the transformation of exponential function or e to the x into the geometric sum is done by a operation called Laplace transform but it's not the true Laplace transform certain modifications had been done and after modification the Laplace transform of this function will be in this form such that x is replaced with 1 over s from the definition the Laplace transform is defined with an integral operation but with this intuition what we can understand is Laplace transform can be taken as a differential transformation also so I hope you enjoyed my video in the next video we will see how the definition of the Laplace transform is related with this transformation so till then thanks for watching